When my girls were young, I would tell them your food tastes better if you share it. I was encouraging their little hearts to love their siblings and their friends. In my family, we passed special recipes from one generation to another. My grandmother and mother were good cooks, and there were many dishes that I enjoyed as a child that I still make now as a grandmother. But I remember my initial attempts at following their recipes didn't turn out as delicious as theirs, and I would ask why. My mom would say, did you put in the secret ingredient? And I would reply, I followed the recipe just as you gave it to me. She would smile a reassuring smile and say, just keep practicing, you'll get it. What I got some years later when I had my own children is, The secret ingredient is always love. In cooking, as in life, love adds that life-giving ingredient to everything we do. But we have to be intentional about this ingredient. It's not always easy to mix it into everything in our everyday lives. But take it from one approaching her older years, it is worth it. When the day is long and the night is short, mix in love. When there's more to do than time to do it, stir in the love. When knees are scraped, the kids fight, and maybe even bones break, knead in the love. When rejection, hurt, and loss come, when grief is your companion or betrayal knocks at your door, pour in the love. Love changes everything. Love brings the sunshine after the rain. Love heals. Love causes things to grow and bloom. Love mends broken hearts. Life can be hard. Roads can be long. But as the days and years go by, we look back and see it was all worth it. God is faithful. In the end, love makes all the difference. So whatever you are cooking up today, remember the secret ingredient is always love and add your own generous portion.